Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Okay, it's been a little bit since I've been on YouTube, like a couple days now. I know I haven't been posting as much videos. I don't know why. I've just been slacking. But anyways, we're going to get into, um, this isn't a studying rap series. It's just kind of like a random little video we're going to go over. I got this beat, and we're just going to build it. So that's just what we're going to do. We're going to build this beat up. I think we're going to name it like a Lil Durk, Lil Durk st type beat, maybe. So I got that. Okay, so this is our sample. Let me tell you what I did. So how I got this right here. This is a sample. Okay, so that's a sample. And what I did was I just played it and tried to copy the notes. But they're not they're not exactly the same. And the, the awesome thing about that is that we can change our chords and our, our melody. Because in a sample, you can't. So we're not using, we're, we're using a piano. We're using FL keys. So we're not using this exact sample, but we're like copying it kind of and getting like our own sample from it. Our own, our own uh, piano from it. So I'm going to zoom in. Let me zoom into our, let's go over our pattern two first. So this is our chord progression. Now let me see what we start with. So we start here and um, now I didn't really pick out chords to be honest, but seven, six, five, four, three. Two one zero, so seven six five four three two one zero is actually a minor chord. So we got minor, G minor, okay. So and then you know so on, and we got um let's see C A F D. I believe that's a minor as well. Seven six five four three two one zero. It's a minor chord, okay. So we got two minor back to backs, not a big deal. And then we got D sharp, C, G sharp, F. So we could count seven six five four three two one zero. That's another uh, minor, okay? So we got F, D, A sharp, G. So seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. The way I'm doing this is I'm counting from the middle because I'm assuming this is like seven and we can count down. So seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So we're in G minor and um, we have our suspended, we have our uh, we have our extended, we have our, um, I'm sorry, fifths, or no, I'm sorry, what is it called? Um, our, our sevenths, I, I believe it's called, I'm sorry, but it, it, like the extra note for, to thicken up these chords. So let's just play that alone. Let's solo this, let me go into my mixer. Let's, uh, you know what, actually, I'm sorry, let's just do this. Cool. So if we turn on our metronome. So notice we don't hit exactly on every every beat. We hit a little bit before a beat before. Okay, so let's turn this. Let's go over our melody real quick. So the way I got this was a little tricky. It honestly had a lot to do with the um. You know, trying to trying to get uh, what I'm gonna do though is copy this. So I'm gonna copy this. You don't have to do this. I'm just gonna do it for a better idea of how we got it. So I'm gonna go back into my pattern too. Okay, let's go into piano roll and let's just Control C or Control V and paste that in. Control V. So now we can see it with our chord progression. Let's just silence. Let's turn this off again. Okay. So we got a note that hits right here. Now what I did is I shifted these over off the grid. Let me shift them back on the grid. That way it's not confusing you, even though um, it, it kind of looks confusing. So if we bring this to none and shift those over on the grid, you could see a little bit better on how they were placed. So we got this one. So we got, so we got a, a, a chord that goes, we got like a, a melody goes boom, 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 so it goes bump bana dun na na bump bana dun na 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 dun 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 So that's pretty much it. I mean, it just what came to my ear, I guess, when I when I was playing it. I mean, um, but that's pretty close to this sample right here, and um, but I kind of changed it a little bit at the end because I didn't want it to be exactly the same. 
So we're gonna change it even more though. We're gonna like mess around with it and make it different. Like we could go. Whatever you want, really. So we'll we'll figure it out. So that's how we got our melody. I'm gonna take <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna take this out. It doesn't matter what notes you use. <coughs> it doesn't have to be in the same pattern either. Um but I do suggest just kind of, you know, just taking taking your time with it. We can definitely come up with one, you know, just by messing around. I mean, that's obviously not the best melody, but, you know, you, you see what I'm saying. It's not too hard. You just got to go with your, your brain. Let it let it tell you. Let it guide you. Um, I always feel like it's difficult kind of like to get it exactly placed. So play your net metronome as, as well, and you can, um, you know, better place it. You can just, and, and the closing, closing your eyes helps, if, I feel like. If you just sit there. And another awesome thing is if you have like a way to like, you know, use like your MIDI keyboard or something like that or like. A keyboard you can just close your eyes hit record and then play the note when you think you want to play it and it might take a few trial and errors but you know it'll definitely be more human and it'll be like so much you know you'll open up a new window you'll be like I didn't know I could do this and it'll definitely be like whoa to you so um, I didn't play this with my hands I actually just kind of clicked it in so let me shift these back over oh no they're already shifted over I believe cool so I think I'm gonna shift them over a little more so we're gonna so what I'm doing is pulling my melody off the grid to give it a humanized feel. I'm just going to listen and pull it to the right. So what I'm going to do is pull these out all the way and then cut them right here. So I'm going to cut right here. Okay, and let it do what it does. Let's um, switch back to bar mode. Let's cut that again because I don't think it cut right. So let's cut that again. Okay, so we got these extra notes here that we didn't mean to do. So we didn't mean to do this. But we did mean to cut. Okay, hold on. My fault, guys. Definitely. Don't pay attention to this. This is kind of stupid. Um, let me just drag these out. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> delete these. Let's just delete these. Jesus. Let's go to pattern three. Let's make this unique right here. Let's go into here and bring these up. Let's bring these two up. So I'm gonna attempt. We're just figuring out. I'm just kind of figuring it out real quick. Let me see what I want to do here. Um, now, when you extend them out, it's the same thing as like a sustain pedal. Um, essentially, like we're pulling the note out so they all play together. 
But I mean, that's not what we're trying to go over right now. I just want to say that, um, okay, it's saving. My bad. Um, I wanted to figure out this. So let me move these back. It's just kind of hard to work in. Okay, so. I guess, whatever. So even these don't have to be on the grid. Like, we can figure out where it wants to be. But I'm sure, I'm sure they should be. Okay, let's add some drums. I got some couple things. So, let me plug in my keyboard. Um, oh, no, never mind. Um, I got this chant. Okay. We got a chant. Clap. Hi hat. We got a snare. We got an open hat. Kick. And we got an 808. Okay, so I think I have these routed. Let's route them right real quick. So I have these routed already because I was messing around earlier um, with this. So I have these routed. I have this. Let's reset these. Let's just reset. My bad. So I'm going to kind of do a should have done this my bad it's kind of my fault um but let's turn this down and uh fuck <laughs> not what I wanted to do why you do that okay so I'm gonna um pull this down and I already added like an EQ on this I believe or maybe I didn't <coughs> but let's add an EQ on this on FL keys Take out a lot of that bass. Let's go to pattern six. Let's add in some drums. So we'll figure it out later. Let's just get everything built and we'll start arranging later. So we got our clap in. Let's add our chant. Let's pull that out for two bars. Okay, let's add, uh, let's see what this is. We get our hi-hat, let's add that in. Fill each four. I'm gonna fill each four this time. Um, let's do that for two bars. So we don't want these to be too, like, you know, similar. Let's just kind of make them unique. Let's make these unique. Let's make that unique. Just change these a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go in this fourth pattern. I, ha I hope I didn't do that too fast. So let's delete all these. So we got pattern 9, 10, 11, 12. So let's go into pattern 10. Piano roll. Let's turn this to a fourth beat and let's drag that out. I'm gonna drag that out. Um, let's see, about like that. And uh, let's cut it up a small. Let's go to like a fourth step.
control or control U is how you cut. I'm sorry. So that's how you cut. You just highlight control U. Sorry, I didn't tell you guys. Okay, so let's see what else we got. Let's go into pattern 13. Okay, so I want to add like a, like a, <clears throat> almost like a um, tension with the snare. So we're going to go boom. Okay, hold on. I'm just trying to figure it out. Boom. So hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out the balance. So, I mean, like, if you just think real quick, like, if you just hear it in your head, let your head, let your mind guide you, like, your brain. Like, let me put a, let me, let me add a kick. I don't think we have a kick. Maybe we do. Okay. what I want. Whatever. Um, let's add some bass. Okay, so I think we added that on the master. Um, <laughs> let me see what's going on here. Okay, so we, we not add a, uh, okay, let me take that off. Sorry, guys. I don't know why that's on there. Okay. Now let's add that on pattern. I think we're on 13. 14. Okay. Let's add that in. Right where it, right where it comes in.
drag these down. See, I just wanted to get like an idea. I just wanted to use a channel rack. Sometimes it's helpful when you use a channel rack to get your base started. It, like when you're kind of like having a little struggle. It's nice. Always, it's always helpful. Let's drop those down. side where, where we have our snare roll and let's make this unique let's just see what we can do with it See? And you can do that either way. You can put in new patterns or make them unique either way. So we're in pattern 17. Let's play without the bass. Let's go to 18. Let's go to 20. 
20. Okay, just saving now. I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't take that feature off, but um, yeah, it's coming along good. We're gonna we're gonna delete a couple things here and arrange it in a second and mix it. make sure that's tuned to F. It looks like it's tuned to F as we can see up here. Um, I could further check it, but I'm not gonna. So that changes everything. <laughs> let's go back. I should have done that. That's my bad. So um, let's just, we can do that real quick. Let's go to 14 and just bring them up a few. up the F sharp. intro and we'll start um, no let's mix first actually let's mix Let's figure it out. Okay, it's just 
saving again, but um, we're gonna add a couple more sounds. I'm gonna open up open hi hat real quick and um, maybe some sound effects too in a crash. Um, I reorganized all my splice folders. If you didn't, if you didn't know that, it helps a lot. So we're gonna we're gonna range here in a second. Sorry guys, we're just kinda adding and mixing. I wanted to add a few more sounds before. So I'm gonna add that one like every four. Latch paste that in. Let me fix this up a little guys. So we can see this better. go into uh, time marker add one let's call this intro okay let's delete all this like for however many bars
that verse right here. Let, let that save. I'm guessing that's what it's going to do. Sorry about that. But um, we're going to arrange this and then mix it a little better and add some effects to it. I think it needs like a bunch of reverb, honestly. Maybe a couple things to the drums. We'll add like a drum bus and we'll see what we can do and mix it a little better. And uh, add a couple things and then see um, what we can do from there. So thank you for watching. But we're definitely not even close to done yet. Um, Lil Dirk, I mean, what do you guys think so far? We need, we definitely need to fix up the piano a little bit. Um, a couple other things. I don't think it's the greatest beat, but it's definitely got a potential. Right before the verse. So let's add verse. Then we'll go back. So we can just copy all that right over. Okay, so what we're gonna do from there is copy this verse over. So if I went too fast, just take your time, arrange it how you want. Um, and just, you know, do what you want. Um, don't freak out if it's not exactly the same or didn't come out like mine. Um, it doesn't matter. Totally, it's awesome when it comes out close and it's your own. And it's like, damn, I actually kind of pushed it a little further this time. That's, that's what I want. Or at least what you should get. <laughs> um, okay, so let's name this verse. Then right where... So I'm going to do this preset down here I like and see what it sounds like. So what I'm going to do, let's go into the snare right here. Let's make this a little, a little more alive. Let's go into pattern 13. Let's pull this up. Let's mess around with the pan. And let's bring that up, down, 
up, down, up, down. my buffer okay so um, let me make sure my buffer is turned up it just has to save this is just saving I need to turn I'm gonna turn that off right now when it's saving um, but it's coming out good so far let me go to um, let's see here so if you need to know how to switch that I think it's somewhere in file yeah okay regularly every five minutes that's what's messing me up so let me just do um, remind me every 10 minutes I'm not gonna save this because it's just getting annoying. That's messing up, messing up my entire videos. Anyways, let's play this. Let me make sure my uh, buffer's up. Yep. Okay. a compressor this piano so we got about a four four ratio ratio four to one from the gain up Okay, so let's add the drum buzz. Rename. I'm gonna link like literally every sound to that to make sure we're not on drum bus. Um, every every drum to it. Let's right click route to this track only, and we'll have all the drums playing through there. So I'm going to add a compressor. Okay, let's four to one it. And a Maximus on the master. Center those lows. Pull the mids apart. Okay, let's EQ our hi hat. Okay, let's try and thick I'm gonna try and thicken up these whoops thicken up these chords really quick let's grab these clone them send them down
Let's add a fade in. Create an automation on the master. Um, on the volume. So let's copy this point. Paste another one. About right there is fine. And then... Mod X and Mod Y. Uh, let's mod Mod X or like, uh, you'll see what I'm saying. Let's go into FL Keys. Let's go to, uh, let's hit this little button down here. Key, uh, the settings. Let's go to right here. Now let's go to Mod X. Create automation. Mod Y. Create automation. Now let's mess with that. Let's make sure to copy these. Points. I think they're both at a. Oops. <laughs> Copy. Yeah, I think they're both the same. Let's hit paste. Yep. So let's bring that up. Let's create a couple points. Let's create a point down this way, actually, right before the drums. It's not really doing much. Um, so let's forget about that. Or, you know what? Let's not forget about that. I'm sorry. Let's actually use it. Let's just keep it like that. If it does something, it does something. If not, so be it. But let's add some more stuff to it. Oh, sorry. I keep doing that. Okay. Let me go to... See, let's see what we can do. You know what? I'm really kind of stuck out on this beat, guys. So I think that's all I have in me on this one. So, um, I mean, it came out okay. Not the best. But um, a little dark type beat. So thank you for watching. Let's um play it back. So I'm gonna play it back from um the beginning, and then we'll just see how it plays out. So thank you for watching. Let's hit pace value right here. That way we don't have everything going all over. Yeah, I don't think that does anything.
thank you for watching, guys. Peace.